All right, hey there, welcome back. Welcome back to another Mother 3 Let's Play. Piloted, of course, by your man, the Goblin King. So, last time, you know what, I'm not even gonna recap. A lot of shit happened. A lot of important shit happened, so my recommendation is if you're here and you haven't seen the last episode, Jesus Christ, go watch the last episode. It's really important. Uh, but as of right now, we're gonna go see our two boys at the cemetery, mourning the loss of their mother. <laughs> Mr. Goblin King, it was such a terrible tragedy. Words fail me. I've humbly prepared a grave of the finest quality for you. Your wife's resting in it right now. When the time comes, you'll be able to rest right beside her. It's a top-notch grave, it is. Um, sorry. The gravestone is unusually wobbly. It seems Caleb Ott was the first person at Hinoa's grave this morning. When I called out to him as he was leaving, he gave a tiny little smile, then suddenly dashed off. Uh... Uh-oh. Nothing personal, but I'm not good at dealing with gloomy things like this. Even so... Alright. And what? Uh... You know what? She barely even got to live life. That you agree. I cannot drink at a time like this. Oh, Goblin King. Goblin King, Hinawa was always so kind to my wife. I wish I could say more for you, but I've never been at such a loss for words. Hello, Mr. Goblin King. Did Calebot go off somewhere? Yeah, I think so. When is he coming back? Tomorrow? Sorry for my old man's drunkenness, Goblin King. But my deepest condolences to you. Hinawa dying. I just don't want to believe it. Goblin King, you and Hinawa. You loved each other so much that even the little birds in the forest were jealous. And that'll never change, even after this. Dad, I thought you said anything could come true. As long as we prayed from the bottom of our hearts. Mom can't even punish me anymore now. I don't want it like this. Oh, long time no see. It's me. I haven't been to the village in a while now, but I rushed straight here after I heard about Hinoa. Just after I had such a wonderful time with my grandkids. Sorry. Say, come to think of it, Where's Caleb Bot? Is he not with you? He said he was going to see you, but then never came back. Caleb, do you know where Caleb Bot went? No. Caleb, it's not good to keep secrets from people. Don't tell me Caleb Bot went after that detestable Drago to try to. N -n 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 no. He didn't take Dad's homemade knife and go into the mountains to kill the Drago. Ah! It's a good thing you raised him to be honest, Goblin King. Does Caleb Bot honestly think a homemade knife can kill a Drago? Caleb, why didn't you stop him? Well, I said I wanted to go too, but he said no because he was going alone. So you just let him go? You fool! Maybe that was a little too harsh of me. Goblin King, it sounds like Caleb Bot is headed into the mountains to kill the Drago that killed his mom. We're in a race against time, but this can't be any ordinary Drago we're dealing with here. We're gonna need a, the proper equipment first. Get the weapon to fight the Drago with, and then hurry to my place. Come get me at my house after you've gotten yourself a weapon. Do you remember where I live? If you don't, then have old maps and mark it on the map for you. 
I think he's in the town square. Alright, so it looks like we gotta go save our son before he fights a, a fucking dinosaur by himself. Little little boy fighting a dinosaur. It's, it's, it's not gonna end well. So, what was it? Isaac said he had... Wait, where's Isaac's house? Isaac said he had the Draco Tooth. Is that Isaac? Fuck, I don't remember. I'm thinking we have to come out here. That's the guy. Bronson said he had it, I think. There you are, Goblin King. Good thing I waited. Goblin King, just take this and go. It's the Draco thing. I made it into a weapon. The only thing that can pierce through the tough hide of a Drago is a Draco's Fang. There's no other weapon that can beat a Drago. Got the Drago Fang. I realize this might be tough for you to accept, but you, st you should still take it. Well, I guess I'm... I'll head home and get back to work. Alright, cool. Good shit. Now, we've got the Drago Fang. And to be honest, I don't know where I'm going, so I'm gonna get my map marks. But I'm pretty sure it's just north. Yes, mark it on my map, you clown. There you go. Just be careful out there now. And, just for safety, we'll save before leaving. Alright. Please be careful out there. Our regards to the next party. Um, do we have to equip that? Is that even going to be better? Is it... I think it's good, actually. Relic of a Horrible is sharp. Okay, whatever. No, we don't. Wait, wait I didn't check the map, did I? Yeah, it is north. That's where I thought it was. Am I going the right way, though? No, I'm not. I have to go through the forest. I forgot. My bad. Oh, this fucking chump. Actually, I remember this guy being kind of a pain in the ass. Yeah. I think those were an enemy from Earthbound. Like, they would always hit crits. Fucking nightmare. Let's kill this guy. Just because I haven't fought him before. Brain Mantis. Well, he was a tough enemy. Too experienced. Okay, well. Wonderful. Glad we did that. Can we go in here yet? Oh, we can. There are a lot of antidotes inside this box. Take one? Yeah, why not? Oh, I was hoping we get the drop on him. Ah, another fucking greedy mouse. At least it's only a two-hit fight. What we might do. Stop. Yeah, heads up. Or not heads up, uh, snuck up. It's toddle us. Alright, I think we'll eat that nut, nut bread right now. And continue on our journey. The grass really didn't get burned all that much. It was just trees, huh? Still going the right way? No, I have to go left. Over here? Yeah. We're on the right track? You know it. Alright, slip around these faggots. Damn it. Maybe we can one-shot them now? No venom? Yeah, no venom. 
Yay. Easy fight. Let's slide through here. Ooh, double battle. Oh, this might be shitty. Especially if we get poisoned. Just like fucking that. God damn it. Oh, at least he's dead. Maybe I can get away with killing him and not healing. Yeah, I did. Oh, fuck. Whatever. I leveled up. Not a bad level up either. We gotta use beef jerky, why not? And use one of the upgrades. Alright, so that's a shitty combo to run into. Flies and the snake. Okay, good. I don't think he's... Oh. <sighs> Are you fucking kidding me? This could not have been worse. This could not have been fucking worse. Are you kidding me? Yep, and now I'm poisoned. Yep. God fucking damn it. God fucking... Ugh. Maybe I'll get a crit on the luck in the snake, please. Please crit him. <laughs> Fuck off. Oh, an antidote. Fucking great. And and we're out of healing items. <sighs> God fucking damn it! I almost said his house, kind of. What in God's name is this? Do I, do I want to fight these things? I don't think I do. No, I don't. Oh, and they can either hit. Oh, and they can deal hits too. Can I get two chop them? <sighs> I think we're gonna have to run. I don't think we can beat this. Well, you know what? They don't get crits every time that we can win. Or not. Or not. Or we could be caught in an endless loop. What? No! No! Are you fucking kidding? I can't win! No! Okay, good. I, I can't win! I'm dead. Oh, fucking. Getting fucked up by caterpillars. <sighs> Alright, well, I hope we don't get into another encounter, because if we do, we're dead. Well, that didn't make him go away. Close are we? Not very close. Well, I might fucking die here. Please be healing item. Yeah, okay. Except 
faster than it. No, you stay away. You too. Which way do we have to go? Actually, I think there's a hot springs over here. So we just have to beat this fucking stupid mole. I bet you he kills me. Or not. Fuck me. Please be. No, 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 no. We're dead. We have to go that way. I don't think we do. I think it's right up here. Motherfuckers are like, oh yeah, no, it's oh it's so fucking easy. Even a even a child could get to and from this fucking house. Man, I'm surprised they weren't killed just by the fucking rock dinosaurs on the way down here. You fucking kidding me. What do you have to say? Squeak, squeak, squeak. Not wasting food is a commendable thing. But that does make things a little harder for me. Oh, you made it. Traveling through the forest has become quite a or er, has become quite dangerous indeed. What were those extremely bizarre flying mouse things with bug wings? It seems one bit me right on the head too. I feel that perfectly, though. No, 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 no. None of that matters. I know where Caleb Bot might have gone. According to my froggy intelligence, he's at my friend's house. Let's head there right now. Can I, like, get healed or something? Please? Please, can I get healed? They have their own bed? So wait, where did this guy sleep then? Where did Alex sleep? Oh, here? Oh, wow. Huh. Yeah, they really thought this one out. Goblin King. When I said froggy intelligence just now, you... I know, just now you thought, what? Didn't you? Frogs work for my friends as messengers. My friend is able to talk with frogs, lizards, and what you have. What have... and what have you. See that lizard's there. Fucking Jesus Christ, I'm having trouble reading. See that lizard there, for instance? We just need to go in the direction it tells us. Can I fucking heal or something? I'm kinda really fucked up. I don't have any healing items. Oh, I'm king. You have doubts about this friend of mine, don't you? My friend, no friends, are known as the Mag Gypsies. They've lived isolated away from civilization for a very, very long time. I am a lizard. I will show you that which direction you need to go. Round and round we go. Where I stop, soon you will know. So you go this way. This way. No, like, like seriously, man. I need to fucking heal. Goblin King. I see you're not walking as fast now. It seems the word Mag Gypsies has made you curious. The Mag Gypsies have mysterious powers. They've been protecting something here for a very long time. They're neither human nor beast, neither man nor woman. I have absolutely no idea how old they are. That explanation didn't help much, did it? Basically, because they're, or basically they're strange, all of them, every one of them. That's just how they are. They are good-natured, though. I, yeah, it's like, I don't care. <sighs> I need... <laughs> I can't... What do you want me to do here, game? 
<laughs> you can't. You, you give me any items. What am I supposed to do here? I'm gonna. Ah. Uh, okay, at least I start here. I know where I'm fucking going, you fucking stupid fucking dumb fucking lizard. have the item? Whatever. That was probably the best thing that could have happened. So now I'm strong. Alright, you won. Yeah. Fuck off. Man, I wish every character or every enemy just didn't get fucking like crit on me. That'd be nice. Right. Where I stopped, so you know. Are you pointing in the right way? You might have been. No, I guess he wasn't. Are you pointing in the right direction? No, he wasn't. Wrong. I am the wrong frog. Right, right, right. Frog, the right frog. Hey there, lucky man. Oh, okay, there we go. Bro. Why, I can't talk to the bird? Chirp, chirp, sparrow advice. Do you know how enemies sometimes leave nice items behind after you fight them? If your inventory is full, when you find an item you want, you have to either give it up or throw away another item. Which is why it's a good idea to always eat any food items you have as you go along. Doing this will help keep your inventory from getting full. This little trick is especially useful for when you're hiking through forests and mountains. We'll now to end this with a little spare like a chirp a chirp chirp. Whatever. Alright. Alright, so this means be this. You a save frog? Save your game, yeah. Ugh, god damn it. Can I get it this way? Oh, there it is. I'm a fucking dumbass. Ugh, finally. Alright. Visitors! I had a voice for them, but I'm so fucking tired now. Visitors! Magnificent! You simply must have some of this cake! It's scrumptious! Oh, humans? So sleepy. I came from a cold place. Is that Alec? It is, it is! Good to see you, Snookums! My, my, who are these two? Don't be so rude, Leona. Introduce us. Of course. Where are my manners? This is my good friend, Alec. Who is this with you? Goblin King, you say? Well, it's very nice to meet you. Now, let's get all the... Let's get you all properly introduced to us, Mag Gypsies. You're in luck. We're having a party today. Nearly all of us are here. First, we have Aeliola. Then there's Doria, Fyria, Fy Fargiri, whatever, Linda, and uh, that one over there is Mixolydia. The only one not here is Lycria, Locria, and you can call me Leona. 
You can't remember all that. Of course not. That's why I just introduced you, darling. Isn't that how it works? Right, Al Alkipu? It's been a while. I'm glad you're. To s I'm glad to see you're all well. I hear you helped my grandson Calebot. You know where he might have went. Oh, you mean that reambunctious little squirt from a little while ago? Then I suppose this Goblin King fellow is his father. Hmm. Yes, I can see the resemblance now. You have the same eyes. So. What about Calebot? Where is he? Oh, he took off. He was in a great hurry, mentioning something about avenging his mother. I was feeling generous at the time, so I sent him on his way with a super powerful PSI technique. I doubt he'll be able to use it very easily, though. So he left then? And you didn't stop him? What if something happens to him? Oh, get over yourselves. We couldn't care less about you humans. Here one minute, gone the next. You poor things barely live a hundred years, if that. That's a blink of an eye to us mad gypsies. Why would anyone bother to care about such short lives? Now, now, Mixolia, Fyria, humans worry about such short lives. Isn't that right, Alkipu? I understand how you feel, I really do. I don't care if you understand or not, just tell us where Calebot went. The boy headed for the Draco Plateau, er, the boy headed for the Jake Draco pa Plateau, quite rambunctious, I might add. Barely seemed concerned about his own short little life. If you go now, you might just catch him in time. Drago Flat 2, you say. Goblin King, let's hurry. Right. That's enough Mag Gypsies for now. Goblin King, the quickest way to get to the Dragon Flat 2 is through the cave behind this house. Kilobot probably went through the, the cave too. There's nothing to worry about, Goblin King. But you're not going to get very far being as tense as you are. What you need to do is smile. Understand? Fucking... Yeah, okay. You still seem pretty tense if you ask me. Alright, let's find a frog. Be careful out there. Alright, so I think I'm going to call it here. Um, so that was pretty crazy. we got to meet the Mag Gypsies and all that. Um, but yeah, this has been your boy, the Goblin King. Signing off.